Hey guys, I'm 3in1 and today I'll be giving you an update as to what is happening in our lives here in New South Wales. Stick around. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and sticking with us through our journey here in New South Wales. For those of you who are interested, please hit that subscribe button along with the subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notifications button. It will let you know every time I post a new video and make sure that you go down uh, to the video where I posted for the merchandise giveaway. Uh, the title on the video is called Merchandise Giveaway. I will be giving away a hat, a t-shirt, along with the sticker to two lucky winners. I will be selecting those people this weekend. If you haven't had a chance to go and submit your username on TikTok, make sure you go down there and submit your username in the comment section. Make sure you always hit that like button, guys, to show your support. Anyways guys, so here we are in Australia still, still pushing our way forward. But you know what, we have made some progress. Uh, some good news have been coming our way, which is something that I have been needing in my life, along with my children. And uh, right now at the moment, there are a few organizations that are working with us to try and get us back on our feet, to, got, to try and get us back on track. Uh, many of these organizations know exactly what is happening and what is going on in our lives and they know that things have been pretty difficult for us um, you know through this whole COVID thing and then also along with the uh, passing of the mother of my children so right now currently we do I'm not going to say any names on who's helping and who's uh, working with us at the moment but I will be able to tell you what it is exactly that they're doing and how great and powerful God is because he has been truly faithful through this whole journey. Um, of course, I'm going on my fourth month here. I landed here uh, in March 3rd. Uh, now we are in June. So uh, it's going on a little while since I've been here and since I've seen any type of good news or anything that I could really look at to say, okay, now we're getting somewhere. And finally, after these, you know, four months, we're starting to see that there are people that are really starting to uh, to reach out to us and really making an effort to try and help us out. Uh, we also have some of the schools, uh, well, actually my daughter's school, who has been reaching out to us and helping us and assisting uh, assisting us with a few things that we have been needing. They've given us some clothing, they've given us food, they've given us vouchers, things like that to be able to, uh, you know, to, to stay, you know, on top of everything. Uh, along with them, there is another organization who recently came through, and, oh gosh, I tell you, um, what they did for us was a tremendous blessing. Um, what they have is they have these uh, gift cards um but they were ten dollar gift cards and they gave us about three about 300 350 dollars worth 
of uh, gift cards and we can use that for food or clothing and I've already used them all up all in one day I went and did about hundred and fifty dollars worth of food shopping uh, and then uh, last night I went and did about I, I don't even remember how much it was but we wound up spending all of the gift cards just on clothing for my kids because they have been needing it um, and they were like kids in a candy store they were just grabbing stuff off the shelf things that they've needed things that they've wanted and it was a blessing to see it was it was great to be able to see my children grab what they needed now they didn't get everything that they wanted but they definitely got stuff that they needed especially during this time right now for us it is starting to get really cold uh my you know so they got some some warmer clothes um that they're able to use um the the funny thing is is that with these with these gift cards they have a little scratch it right in the back of the card and each card has to be scratched and that pin number has to go in when you scan it so it took us a while to get all of these gift cards uh processed and let me tell you there were some people that were standing behind us that were kind of like okay what's going on and what's with all these cards you know is this guy can what is he trying to find a card that's going to work for him and it was it was a little bit stressful at times uh, but you know we got through it um uh, we were able to walk away with the clothes and the food and stuff like that, which was a tremendous blessing uh, because we've been able to get what we need. I've been, I've been able to get some vegetables, some fruit, all the stuff, all the nutrition that my children have been eating. Uh, we've been able to do that, and and um, it was such a blessing to be able to receive that and know that there's organizations out there that are willing to help us out, and they're going to continue to help us. Uh, the next step for us, and this will be happening tomorrow, I will be meeting with someone tomorrow, um, and we're going to be discussing uh, about putting my, my kids back in school, which is very, very important, which is something that I really need to do. Now, in three weeks' time here in New South Wales, uh, or in Australia, um, the kids will be going on a two-week uh, school holidays, which means they'll be off for a couple of weeks. Um, and this is going to happen in three weeks. So if I am able to help get my kids enrolled in school, when they go back into school again, they will already be enrolled and registered and ready to go back into school, um, which is another tremendous blessing because this is something that has been needed uh, to happen for, for us, for, for my children. Uh, and the great thing is, is that here, they have to have uniforms and they're going to be providing their uniforms, shoes, backpacks, everything that they're going to be needing. They're going to be really helping us out with getting us all of those things, which is going to be a huge blessing because uh, those things do add up. And so to be able to know that we are going to be receiving those things for free, it's a tremendous blessing, guys. And... Those are the cockatoos. Those are Australian cockatoos and they travel in packs. I'm glad they flew over so you guys can hear what they sound like. Uh, but yeah, um, and they're just, you know, a lot of good things. Uh, and I've been talking with the owner here uh, with the property. And, uh, you know, we're pretty happy here with the new place. Uh, it's right here on the wharf, right, you know, down the street from the park. Um, which will allow my kids and I just to get out and, and go have a little walk and go and get some sun, you know, uh, which is really nice. The schools are right down the street, which is another blessing. It's a big plus to know that the schools are not too far away. Uh, so things have really been progressing from here. It has been pretty difficult uh, uh, for a while because I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know what was going on. Um, as far as what I can do to help my kids out at this time. Um, although the financial part of things, it's still hard. I'm not getting any financial support as far as to help me to pay the rent, um, to help me to get other things that we need to help 
uh, uh, you know, pay for certain things that my kids need at this time. With those kinds of things, I still do need the support. For those of you who have been supporting us, we truly, truly appreciate it. Um, I do know this, that the owner has allowed us to stay here for as long as we need to so that I can get on my feet and start making things happen on my own. What that means is that he's not going to be pushing us and rushing us to get out. But what it does mean for me is that I am in, I'm in a position where I have to be able to come up with the rent every month, just like everybody else. And so um, right now with no financial support uh, coming from any government, from any um, you know organization out here, it makes it really difficult for us to be able to find a place to stay. Like I said, we do have this place right now. It's a, it's a, it's a good and comfortable place for my kids. You know, uh, it's walking distance from all the shops that we need to be around. Um, what we need is we just be, we, we, sorry. We need to be able to have the support so that we can stay here. And that we can hold on to this place and it is very important for us to be able to do that now again you know uh, I do have the GoFundMe in my bio on my TikTok. Um, I will link that in the description for anyone who would be willing to to be interested uh, to help support us financially I know that there's been a few people that have reached out to me and they are willing to uh, commit every month to give us something um, just to help us out. And, you know, this is something that I normally wouldn't do. I would normally, uh, I wouldn't go and take this route because I never felt I needed to. But in the position that I'm in, you know, it is very, very difficult to be in the position that I am in and I can't even describe and begin to tell you how difficult it is although I am pretty surprised and I am pretty uh, blessed on how God is giving me the peace through all of this right now because if it were not for God right now in my life and 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 him blessing us the way uh, that he is I probably would have been really struggling because I deal with depression. I deal uh, with anxiety and I, I deal with some PTSD and there's some, you know, um, some mental issues that I deal with along with me. I know that my kids are going through this mourning uh, process right now with them losing their mother. So it's very, very difficult to be in the situation that I'm in, but I believe that I'm doing a pretty good job uh, for being in the position that I'm in and I have to keep telling myself that I am because I could always easily look at my at myself and say you know you're not doing enough um, you're not gonna make it you, you how are you gonna do this and how are you gonna do that you know I'm not overwhelming myself I'm just I'm just taking it day by day and just letting things happen and when I need to get out there and make certain things happen I do that and as difficult as it may be for my children to be a part of this process it's going to help them in the long run and they're gonna say and look back one day and say you know what my dad really pushed himself to help us and to to be there for us and this is what I want my kids to be able to see is that I never gave up so again guys uh, this whole process and everything that's been happening with us I truly truly thank you for all your guys' support and everything you've been doing for us. And uh, myself and my children are completely grateful to everything that you guys have been doing for us. Please continue to pray for us. All of this is still being processed and, and everything is still, you know, uh, uh, being researched as, to far, as far as what we need to be doing. Uh, but in the next, this the rest of this week, we will be finding out exactly what will be happening with our children as far as school uh, and things like that. So I will keep you guys posted. I will continue to make more videos like this to let you guys know um, as to what is going on. Uh, make sure you guys leave me some comments. 
uh, let me know how you guys are feeling if you guys are praying for us let let me know what it is I can do to help you guys out what type of videos I can make you to help you guys out again guys thank you guys so much remember make sure you subscribe hit that notifications button and guys I love you very much God bless you and I will see you on the next video